As a tuto ni kwa pani nani Na tuwabeshe babo kamoti nani Success knowledge tie pani Bela kubebo uwa wako ni sensor E tuta wabantu E tuta wabantu Uwa wako ni sensor E usa kama nabantu E usa kama nabantu Hello Sensari is out there The following video is a session in physics and this is particularly Sans the Bond. Our discussion is going to be very brief. We are just going to introduce the topic of simple machine. By the way, when you talk about a simple machine, an example can be a spoon, a wheelbarrow, or any device that can be able to make work easier. So like in this case, we are saying this is a device used to make work easier. A very good example is a wheelbarrow. Under a simple machine, we may have terms that are associated. This includes effort, load, we can talk about mechanical advantage and velocity ratio. Then we look at an example. When we talk about effort, effort is the force. But this force should be applied on an object to produce an outcome. Then, apart from efforts, we can talk about the load. When we talk about the load, this is the force overcome by the efforts. Let's look at the diagram to see which one is the effort, which one is the load. When we talk about the efforts, under a diagram, the effort will be represented on the upper side and it will be a smaller force. The load will be represented underneath this diagram and it will be the bigger force. When you use the effort and when you use the load, we are going to get mechanical advantage. But when we see these circles, these circles are able to represent the number of wheels. Hence, when we count the number of wheels, we are going to be getting what we are going to be calling velocity ratio. Otherwise, let's begin and see how we can relate to our example. So here we are saying, below is a diagram of a pulley system. When we talk about a pulley system, we are going to have a diagram with wheels and labeled forces. The force here is the effort, the force here is the load. And I said, using the load and the effort, we will get mechanical advantage. A, determine the velocity ratio. So on A, we are going to say velocity ratio, we are saying is the number of wheels. So velocity ratio, the number of wheels will be represented by the number of circles. So one, two, three. So velocity ratio is definitely three. Then B, we are saying calculate the mechanical advantage. When we say mechanical advantage, we are supposed to understand that this is the ratio of the load over the effort expressed as a fraction. So I'm going to find that the load is the force represented downwards on the diagram. Then the effort is the force represented on the upper position here. So I'm going to say the load is 400 newtons in physics to attract the marker's interest. Always work with units over the effort is going to be 200 newtons. Then I'm going to say this is 200 into 400, we're going to get that a 2, but these newtons should cancel because in the first place I said mechanical advantage is a ratio. Otherwise what we need to know is determining velocity ratio, which is the number of wheels, then trying to talk about mechanical advantage, we draw a comparison between the two forces by saying load over effort. So until in the next video, for now, grab a paper to repose, watch again, and be able to solve the questions of the same kind. Otherwise, goodbye. As a tuto uli kwa pani nani Na tuwabe shiba waka mwati nani Success, knowledge, tie pani Bela kube babo, uwa wako ni sensor E tuta wabantu, e tuta wabantu Uwa wako ni sensor